Have you ever dreamed of perfectly smooth FPS in the Mass FS without having to tweak the settings over and over again? Well, if you are, the GitHub user named ResetXDPR already have the solution for you. He developed a truly unique piece of software called AutoFPS that can, is and will be solving the FPS problems by optimizing the graphics settings in real time. It will basically remove the need for a MSFS graphics guides. Today we will walk you through the installation usage and tell something about how it works. Also we will do the comparison before and after the installation. Welcome to the Flight and Find and let's figure out how to use this. When you will Google the Auto FPS download on the Google Chrome, you will probably find yourself on the MSFS add-ons website. Here is the little explainer about how this works. Now let's head to the installation. Here is the link for the GitHub and here is instruction to install it, but it's very easy. Here is new comings in the last update. Also he says in his explainer that this software will probably trigger your antivirus, so be ready. But there is nothing to be worried about because this is very popular software and many people face this warning from the antivirus. Ok, but now let's install. Here's my antivirus, it's going crazy. And here we can configure our software. I recommend you do not configure auto start, because if auto FPS will be auto starting with MSFS, then it will be really hard to close it through the task manager ending task manually so yeah okay uh, create shortcut and let's install finished successfully and now we should see the shortcut okay here it is and here's the interface of course for this to be working we need to start the msfs so let's jump right into it Okay, so here we are at the hardest for the MSFS airport, New York LaGuardia, and at the hardest for the MSFS plane, PMDG737. Here we can see my FPS, and also here. Here we can see my terrain level of detail and objects level of detail. Also, here are some flight data, I don't know why it's here, but anyway. Uh, we can set here the target FPS, it's 40 for me, I think that's enough for my GPU. We can set auto target FPS, it will determine what's the best target FPS for my PC. I will leave this like that. Also we can choose the flight type, uh, because the terrain level of detail can change depending on how you will be flying, VFR or IFR. When you are flying IFR, you don't need to see the ground. I am in the Boeing 737, so I will be flying IFR, definitely. Also, we can use the expert options. Here we can set the FPS sensitivity. This is how accurate the auto FPS will deliver wanted FPS. Let's set those to 5. Also, we can tick this bar to decrease cloud quality. But I don't want to, I don't want my clouds to be looking like in the Minecraft, so I will leave this like that. Also, we can set the auto object level of detail, it's ticked already. It will uh, be adjusting the object's level of detail like trees, grass, bushes, to meet the requirements and my desirable FPS. So. I think that's most of it, and I think we can leave this like that.
So now you know how to get the best FPS your computer can handle. This program is a revolution in MSFS graphics, as it is literally one thing you need to forget about settings, tweaks once and forever. We will see how this software will develop and hope that Asobo will build it in the MSFS 2024. But for now, you can leave a comment with your feedback on Auto FPS, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my Discord channel, and have a great flight with great FPS.